To write the name for MnHCO3 2, we first need to recognize that manganese here, this is a transition metal. And then this HCO3, this is a polyatomic ion. It's called the bicarbonate ion, sometimes called the hydrogen carbonate ion. We have two of those. So since we have the metal and the group of nonmetals, the polyatomic ion, we'll use these rules here to write the name for MnHCO3 2. First, we write the name of the metal as it appears on the periodic table. Mn, that's manganese. Next, we write the name for the polyatomic ion. So you either remember that this HCO3 here is the bicarbonate ion, or if you're allowed, you look it up on a table of polyatomic ions. So I'm going to write bicarbonate, lowercase b. And again, sometimes we call this the hydrogen carbonate ion. So at this point, we have the name manganese bicarbonate for the MnHCO3 too. Manganese, though, this is a transition metal, so we need to write the charge in the name to show that we have this transition metal here. The hydrogen carbonate ion, the bicarbonate ion here, the whole thing is 1 minus. That means we have two of them. We have 2 times 1 minus. That's 2 minus. Manganese has to be 2 plus for that to balance and give us a net charge of 0. So to show the 2 plus here, we put a Roman numeral 2 between the name, and we put that in parentheses. So the name for MnHCO3-2 is manganese 2 bicarbonate. You could also call it manganese 2 hydrogen carbonate. The 2, this Roman numeral 2, that's because we have a 2 plus here on the manganese. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.